Welcome to Sex Best Analysis. Let's start copying the these three files from your reference folder into your working directory and then after that we can open up data gen and select create new data file and in dynamic choose force time history input file okay the first line is the dynamic response options here you're gonna change force time history with collapse we're gonna use both check the vertical coordinate it's plus z there's nothing else to change here um, next line is the dumping which is required for every dynamic analysis so uh, let's find it as damp structural damping and we're gonna use 2% here okay and the next line is the line load the forced vibration load and it's a header line and right after this we're gonna use forced vibration analysis so the type of analysis is time history input and time history input source we're gonna use card because we're gonna type this in here and the dumping type it's okay structural dumping only and the time history linear we're gonna plot the base shear versus time and overturning moment versus time and load case creation we're gonna use all time points and the joint displacement output this one okay and for the next line we're gonna work with the time search for the timeline it's the integration to control it start in zero and in 2.0 the output time interval it's 0 0.02 here it is and and the time history force line here gonna live as it is known and the time history input name it's BLST oh. and this next line is load is the load case okay and first load case ID is BLST and time zero and zero okay the second one I'm gonna type this okay load you can do that also and time 0 0.08 and 1.0 and then it's always the same okay and 0 0.20 and 0 
So just that, and now we finished. And just type the end line and save your file. The name of the file. It's always important to for you to find it when you choose the file you're gonna run. So always try always using these these names, okay? And you can type whatever the name you want. You you can type the name you want here, but try to keep this one. Okay, save. And let's go to Collapse Input File. Go back to DataGen, create new data file, and Collapse Input File, and OK. Let's change the units here. We're going to use English units. And the first line is the collapse options. And let's make some changes here. The maximum interactions per load increment is 20. And number of member segments, 80. And maximum number of member interactions, 20. Continue if maximum interactions exceed. Yes, and then deflection tolerance, we're going to use 0 0.1. Rotation tolerance, that's OK. Member deflection tolerance, and that's OK. Collapse deflection, OK. Strain hardening ratio, 0 0.05. And no, we are not going to use these methods. Okay, and the last next line is it's about the the plot. Look for the collapse analysis report selection. The first one, change it to PO. Joint reaction report, RO and member stress sprint option right here, MO. Okay, and now we're gonna define our load sequence. Load sequence name A A A A. First load case self. Because we we have this in in our model, right? And we're gonna use this. Okay, done. Now we can type the end line and save our file. CLP. Here it is. And now we can go and create our analysis from file. Go to dynamic and the file ID BLST. Okay. Here we have to change this to blast analysis this subtype. Dynamic response input file. And sex model input file. And finished our collapse input file. Okay, here it is. Let's select this box, the solve, solve and nonlinear plastic options. Now we can run our analysis. So our analysis has finished, and right here we can check. All the steps, okay. This is our log file. 
And right here we have some results. Let's open up this file. And here, here is our equivalent stat load. And also we can find here the collapse summary report right here okay yeah and you can check the results here and also we can check graphically the results open up this file and to a wireframe so we can check the counters go to load step and last here it is we can animate that oh sorry Okay, and we can close now and generate reports. We can generate some reports. For instance, the work done. Here it is. For the self loading and then our sequence. Also, we can check the graph. Select load step and base shear. Here it is. And then add and show graph. Okay, and so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching and bye bye. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.